a dream I saw exactly after uh, Saturday last week. And uh, I, I wanted to see what's your take on it because I, I wanted to confirm. And uh, well, uh, on, on, on Saturday, I I went and, and basically I, I prayed that please show me that that uh, because I, before I, I went there, I, I watched your videos and the, and the first video I saw from you was uh, Allah is, is bad. Yeah. And and that was when I when I truly asked God to show me the way to like, what's the truth? And I, and I really want to find the truth. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a bit Don't nervous. Don't cry, brother. And, uh, makes grown people cry. And, and I, I watch your videos. And, and, and after that, uh, some some weeks passed. Uh, and it was Saturday. I, I asked that please confirm that Sam is right, and, and if he's right, and, and if all of these are right and true, please confirm it to me. And exactly the day after, uh, w when I was uh, sleeping, right after your um, live stream, right after your live stream, I, I I had a dream where this this uh, demon was sitting on my left side and and was. And was like uh, it was bad. It was it was truly awful and and dark. And 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 then after after uh, th this this demon was like laughing and and all of this, and then suddenly a, a massive light. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. No, cry, brother. Oh, you never. I already knew the light was coming. So cry. Let it out. Let it out, brother. So, <laughs> the, 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 and and when this this light was 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 getting bigger and bigger on my left in in, in my left ear i started to hear the mass uh, on the, the the mass singing uh, i don't know what's it called in english uh, the, the catholic mass when they when they sing and they praise the lord it started to get uh, higher Amen. And when the and and when the uh, uh, on my left ear, and when the light completely surrounded me, completely surrounded me, it, it, it went down, and then suddenly, I I, I felt a, 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 a huge weakness that that, that like I I, sh I shook, and and this this immense presence I I felt it. This You're gonna make me cry too, brother. This this immense presence came in 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 front of me, and I, and I and I and I was so shameful, and I was from 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 my guilt and and shame. I I, I my my head was down, and but I but I could feel this that I never felt before. I never yeah. felt this presence before. Yeah, Nothing like this before, and and I said, I'm afraid. I'm scared. I, I'm, I'm scared. Hallelujah, brother. I said, I'm, I said, I'm scared. That's the, and I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. I'm, I'm really no, sorry. Don't be sorry, bro. No, no, no. Finish your story. No, no, no. Don't be sorry. No, ever be sorry. Keep going. I'm going to show you everything and, you saw from the Bible. And it, 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 it was that moment that this this light that surrounded me that completely, completely surrounded me, and and then I, then I woke up. Hallelujah. Then I woke up, but I was calm. It, it wasn't that like, like I was scared of this demon. It was it was that I was calm, and I woke up and I and and something inside me. Because uh, b before this, I I used to say like, how come people, why why would they sin when they when they saw Jesus and how could they do that? And then what after this dream. This this voice inside me said, "So how can you sin after you saw this?" Say it again. What did the voice say? The voice said, "How how can you sin after you after you saw this dream?" See, that was the so. Now speaking. you know the answer. He said, "Now you know the answer." Hallelujah, brother! Rejoice, brother! You're gonna make me cry, man. Let me let me repeat what he said because I'm gonna give him the Bible verses. Okay, he was seeking an answer. God brought him to the channel. He saw that I said Allah's Baal. Then he, after watching me, he prayed for a sign. He asked Jesus to show him, or God to show him if what I'm saying is the truth or is this a lie. He goes, right after he prayed that prayer, you heard a story. He had a dream, a wicked, filthy little demon on the left mocking him. But then a light started appearing and getting stronger and stronger. 
until the light filled that room and he was hearing Catholic Mass, the chanting of Catholic Mass. When they chant in the Catholic Church, he was hearing the Mass being chanted. And then as the light swallowed up that area, the presence came and it was so powerful that he realized how much sinful he was, unworthy to stand in that presence and afraid. And then he woke up at peace and he goes, after seeing Jesus, how can people sin? And the voice told him, how can you sin after seeing what you saw? And he got his answer. Now, brother, I'm going to show you what you saw in the Bible, right? So God answered your prayer that what I was telling you is true because I'm going to show you what you saw. Light, demon, right? Darkness. Right? Psalm 104, verses 1. Bless Yahweh, O my soul. Now, guys, don't mind the echo in the background from him. It's okay. O Yahweh, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor majesty, wrapping yourself with light as with a cloak, stretching out the heavens like a tent curtain. So that light filled the room, right? Exactly. That's Yahweh. He's light. You see it? Yes. But let me show you that this is Jesus too. John 1, 4 to 5, talking about Jesus. Look. In him was life, that Jesus, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overtake it. So the light swallowed up the demon, right? Yes, exactly. Because the light destroys the darkness. It cannot handle the dark, the, the light. And who is that light? John 1, 9 to 10. John 1, verses 9 to 10. There was the true light, which coming into the world, enlightens everyone. So he came into the world. Who is it? He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. Jesus, the true light, entered the world that he made. Now, look what Jesus says. John 8, 12. I, then Jesus again spoke to him, saying, I am... The light of the world. He who follows me will never walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. Okay, now watch what Jesus says again. John 9, verses 4 to 5. We must work the works of this Jesus speaking, who sent me as long as it is day. Night is coming, but no one can work. While I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. Right? right? Yes. You're seeing it right now. About seeing the light and you feeling unworthy because of your sin. Okay, watch here. First John, the epistle of John, chapter 1, 5 to 10. <clears throat> watch here. And this is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. That God is light. In him, there is no darkness. You see, that's why. Because you have sin, which is darkness. You felt unworthy, but his light destroys that darkness and purifies you. How? If we say that we have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not know the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with another. That means we who love Jesus will be a family, right? And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Now watch. If we say that we have no sin, remember what you said? How can people be with Jesus and sin, right? Yes. Well, look at her. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. That's why the voice said, but wait, you saw him and you still sin. Exactly. So then we will sin, but we try not to. So what happens when we sin? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Do you see where your dream was from? Yes, I see. Who do you think showed up to you? What was that presence? I'm sure it was Jesus. I'm, I'm sure. Jesus, right? He appeared to you. Yes. But now let yes. me show you what he says to you now that he appeared to you. You want to see? You had the privilege of Jesus appearing to you. Revelation 1, 17, 18. When I saw him, when I saw Jesus, I fell at his feet like a dead man, out of fear, right? Yes. And you felt fear, right? Exactly, yes. But he says to you, and he places his right hand on me, saying, do not fear. Don't be afraid, because he doesn't want to hurt you. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. And I was dead, and behold, I am alive forever and ever, and have the keys of death and Hades. Don't be afraid. I didn't come to hurt you. 
I didn't come to harm you. I didn't come to mutilate you. I came to love you because you asked and I'm here. This is the truth. What you heard from Sam Shamoon is the truth because that was your message, right? Did the Lord show you if I'm yes. talking the truth? What did you pray? I prayed that please show me a sign if Sam is right and if you and if you are the truth, please show me. Now, you know why you blessed me, brother? Now, I'm going to leave you one more promise. I'm going to make you a mod and I'm going to give you my Skype. Reach out to me. You know why you blessed me? So you got your answer, but you know how it blessed me? Can I tell you how? Because if I was a fake and I didn't belong to Jesus, he would save you from me. Because you said, tell me if Sam is speaking the truth. That means God is speaking through you to me to speak to me because I'm human. I am weak and I'm a sinner. And I too need Jesus to save me and heal me. So the Lord is talking through you to me saying, Sam, Sam, I love you. I know you are weak. I know you struggle with sin. But I will not give up on you and abandon you because you belong to me. And here I'm going to send you a Muslim who is seeking me to speak to you. Your life is in my hand. And you are my vessel. So Jesus was also speaking to me, brother. Because you'll never come at a time in your life where you won't need him. You will always need him. I will always need him. And there will never be a time where we won't need him. I need him desperately. So he answered me through you. And he answered you through me. So now here is his promise. Here's his promise. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. You see what he's saying? Believe in God. Which person of God though? My father. Believe in God. Believe in me. And look what he says. Look at his promise to you. All right? I want you to see his promise. He just gave you a miraculous sign. Jesus is light, right? Yes. And you saw that light, correct? Exactly. And the light swallowed up the demon, the darkness around you, right? Exactly, yes. And you saw a presence in that light that was so powerful that it made you realize, man, I'm a sinner. He's too pure for me to be in his presence. But he didn't condemn you. He washed you. Because he is a God of infinite love. Who doesn't want to destroy sinners, he wants to change sinners. And he's saying, you're mine, and I've come to heal you and save you. I'm not here to punish you if you accept. Now watch his promise. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. Look, he's saying, my Father's home, heaven, has a lot of dwelling places. A lot. If we're not so, I would have told you. If it wasn't the case, I'm not going to lie to you. There are homes for each and every one who believes in me. Look what he says to you. For I go to prepare a place for you, John. And by the way, you notice what your name is, John, right? My, my, my actual name is Nima. I just put John. Nino? Nima, Nima. Nima, Nima, and John. But what a beautiful name you chose, John, because look, these promises are in John. Yeah. I love what he says. He's talking to you. <laughs> for I go to prepare a place for you. For if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. See, he's giving you his promise. You trust in me, I have a house with your name on it. When it's time to die, because until Jesus returns, we're going to die. But his promise is, when we are about to die, he will come and take our soul to be here with him until he returns with our souls and raises our body. That happens at the end. But now look. Look what else he says. And you know the way where I'm going. Thomas said to him, he didn't understand. They were confused. Like, what do you mean? Where are you going? You're here with us. What do you mean? you're, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How do we know the way? Now, notice his answer. You know, Muslims pray five times a day. Guide us on the straight path. Sirat al-Mustaqim. Look at this. Jesus said to him, I am the way. Ana, Sirat al-Mustaqim. Al-Tariq. I am the way. The truth, I am reality, and the life, and life is from me. No one comes to the Father but through me. So Jesus heard you, and he answered you, yes, this is the truth. Yes, I am the Son of God, one with the Father. Yes, I love you, and I died to wash you. And yes, you now have nothing to fear, because if you believe in me, 
God is now your father, not just your master. So you got your answer? Yes, I did. Thank you, Sam. No, thank Jesus, not me. He's the one who answered you. He brought you to me and then gave you confirmation. So what that means is you already belong to Jesus. Jesus sees your heart and he knows your intention. He knows this man is not able to get baptized. He's not going to condemn you. He already appeared to you. He's saying, you're mine. Just keep trusting me. So what you need to do, just keep talking to him. Just keep speaking to him. Just keep reading the Bible. Start with the Gospels. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John over and over again. Go to church as much as you can and say, Lord, I'm ready when you open the door for me to get baptized, but I'll wait on you. You're good hands, buddy. Here, because look what he says. To you. Look at his promise. Look at his promise. You're in good hands. Let me give you some more of his promises because he just confirmed to you this is true, right? Because you asked him. Yes. Show me if Sam is speaking the truth, right? If this is real, right? Yes. All right. Now you got your answer, right? I did, yes. Because as long as you're a Muslim, you had a demon on your left. When did that demon leave? When the light appeared, Jesus showed up. Correct? Yes. Now look what he says to you. My sheep hear my voice. So you're his flock. I know them, they follow me. Look at his promise. I give eternal life to them. You follow him and obey his voice, you're going to live forever. They will never perish, ever. Never, ever. And then his promise. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Because his hand means his power. Because he's almighty, there is no power that can destroy you if you are in his hand. And not only that, the Father is also protecting you. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father one. You're in my hand, under my power. You're in my Father's hand, under his power, because his power is my power. We're one. No one will be able to destroy you if you keep following me. That's beautiful. Say it again. That's beautiful. Because Jesus is infinitely beautiful. Now watch this one. His promise to you. Now, Martha's brother Lazarus had died in four days. She's crying bitterly. So what did Jesus say? Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he'll rise again in the resurrection the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He's telling you, John, you don't have to wait to the last day. By believing in me, I am the resurrection life. Your life is in my hand. You can never die. Look, he who believes in me will live even if he dies. Your brother died, but he's going to live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die ever. And Jesus gave you a sign. This is true, right? In your dream? Yes. Now look what he asked you, though. Do you believe this? This is what he wants. Now understand what Jesus is saying to you. He's saying, now that I answered you, because you saw, you, you're bearing witness to everyone. God gave you a miraculous dream, right? Yes. Confirming the Bible is true, right? Exactly. Confirming that what I'm telling you is the truth from the Lord, right? That I'm not deceiving you, right? Exactly. So now Jesus is saying to you, John, now that I answered you, do you believe when I say I am the resurrection and the life? Do you believe when I say if you believe me, you'll never die ever? And he's asking you, do you believe this? Of course, how can I not believe? Say it again. Say it again. How can I not believe? And then she said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who comes into the world. So you just confess, Yes, absolutely true. Jesus is real, He is Lord. And I do believe, right? I do. Now, one thing I'm going to ask of you, because you're bearing witness already Romans 10, 9 to 10. Here's what it says. One thing I'm going to show you Romans 10, 9 to 10. It says, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus, Lord, see, it's got to be verbal, loud, meaning mouth. Some people hear you in front of witnesses. And believe in your heart that God raised them from the dead. You'll be saved. For with the heart a person believes, leading to righteousness. And with the mouth he confesses, leading to salvation. You know how you have your own shahada? Well, this is the true shahada. Where you have to confess with your mouth and bear witness. Jesus is Lord and God raised him and he's alive. And you do it with your mouth because that's what you believe in your heart. And now notice what he promises if you do it. Now watch. Romans 10, 11, 13. For the scripture says, whoever believes upon him will not be put to shame. He will never humiliate you. He'll never embarrass you. He'll never disgrace you. He'll never shame you. He swore, I will not embarrass you. Never. 
If you love me and you trust in me, I'm not here to make you feel bad and humiliate you. That's something I do because I'm stupid or we do because we're imperfect sinners, not him. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. Notice, see, the true God doesn't care if you're not Jewish. He doesn't love the Jews more than you. There is no distinction between Jew and Iranian. No, he loves all humans equally. For the same Lord is Lord of all, abounding in riches. He has a lot of spiritual riches that he wants to give you if you call on him. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Now, my question is, do you believe what you just I just read to you? Of course I do. So you have no doubt Christ is alive, right? No doubt. And if you were to die physically, you would still be alive, right? Because your spirit would leave your body and you'd be alive? Exactly. And your spirit would be with who? With Jesus. Amen. Because let me show you this. The Amen. first Jewish Christian who I'm got sorry for the background noise. I don't know if you hear it. No, it's all, I don't care. As long as you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, of course I can. Okay. Here. The first Jewish Christian who got killed, martyred for his faith. He got killed for his faith. I want you to see what Jesus did for him right before they stoned them to death. Okay. Acts 7, 55 to 56. But being full of the Holy Spirit, Stephen, he gazed intently into heaven and saw the glory of God. And he saw with his eyes Jesus standing at the right hand of God. He was seeing Jesus standing up. Where? In heaven. Heaven, that dimension open. He can see Jesus standing and God's glory visibly, right? Yes. Now watch what he says. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Now let me break this down for you because I'm going to wrap it up with you. I'm going to end it with you guys. I'll, I'll do another session later, Lord willing, because I want to end with this. He's important more than other questions. Now watch. The Bible says Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. Okay, but now did you see that Stephen sees him standing up, right? Yes. And the God here means the Father. Jesus is not the Father. That's why we believe in the Trinity. He's the Son of God, one with the Father. And he's standing. Now, the Bible says he's sitting at the right hand. But why is he standing? Because you know why? Let me show you what Jesus is doing. He's the first Christian who's going to be killed. The first Christian killed for the faith. They're about to stone him and kill him. Right before he gets killed, before he gets stoned, Jesus opens heaven, allows him honor to see him, standing, waiting to receive him. You understand the image? Jesus is standing up for Stephen saying, Stephen, welcome home. You're about to come home to your king. That's beautiful. Do you understand what he did? Yes. The king of glory, the most beautiful son of God, honors his servant who's about to be killed for him and stands up for him to welcome him. Stephen? I'm here, son. I'm here, son. I'm ready for you. I have a mansion with your name on it because I said I would come and receive you to myself. Come home. Come home to me and come home to your father. He stands up to honor his servant. And then the last words he says, Acts 7, 59, 16. They went on stoning Stephen, stoning him, a brutal way to die. As he was calling out and saying, look, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. See? Got it? Last words. Then falling on his knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And having said this, he fell asleep. He went to be with Jesus. And when he entered heaven, there was Jesus. Standing, ready to hug him. To hug him. I'm going to give you an image, and then I'm going to ask you to do something if you if you want to. But that's something's got to be from your heart. Okay. This is him. I use this at times for my even for my for my videos. I want you to see this. This is what happened. Jesus. Uh, Hugging him when it comes to that. See that? That's the image. There's the Holy Spirit appearing as a dove. And that's the light. You remember the light? Yes. There it is. There's the Son of Man. The Son of God. Welcome here. Welcome here.
welcoming his servants home. John, that can be you, but you believe, right? Of course I believe. All right. Well, here, I want, I want to ask you something. I want you to confess then from your heart and repeat on me. Would you do it? Yes, of course. Okay. I want you to say, repeat on me from your heart. I confess. I confess. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. He died on the cross for my sins. He died on the cross for my sins. He rose on the third day. He, he rose on the third day. He went to heaven. He went to heaven. And with the Father in heaven. And with the Father in heaven. He rules as Lord of heaven and earth. He rules as Lord of heaven and earth. And I confess. And I confess. Jesus will return. Jesus will return. Physically bodily. Physically bodily. To judge the living and the dead. To judge the living and the dead. And I confess. And I confess. Jesus. Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. My love. My love. My love. My life. My life. My life. And I give you my heart. And I give you my heart. May it be your possession. May it be your possession. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God has heard your cry in front of witnesses, and we are your witnesses. You belong to Jesus, and now you can be your Father in heaven, Father. He's now your Father. Let me show you this. You can now say, Abba, Father. But don't just call him God. Say, Father. That's he's your Father. Yes, here's the Father. And I'm going to leave you with this, all right? And you got, now let me get you also again. My Skype, let me know it's you because there's a lot of people. Look at the private chat, it's right there. And let me know. So, I'm making if you're in my comment section, I want to make you a mod. Uh, one of my mods here it is, so you can talk. See it right in the private chat, uh, in the chat, yes. I, I saw it, Benny. Benny, yeah, that's the one. Save it and Skype so I can know yes. it's you. Let me know it's you. But here, now, here's the promise right now, because you have a desire to be baptized, God sees that desire. He's blessed you. You are his because he knows you want to be baptized. And he's not the kind of guy, well, no, but too bad. No, no. Here, Galatians 4, 4 to 6. But when the fullness of the time came, God sent forth his son, born of a woman. He was born of the Holy Virgin, born under the law, that he might redeem, set you free from slavery to that demon that you saw on your left. Those are under law. That we might do what? Receive the adoption of sons. He made you a son of God. And because you are sons... God sent forth the spirit of his son to your hearts, where now you called God, Abba, Father. So I want you to say, say it and mean it. God in heaven is my father. God in heaven is my father. And I love you, Abba. And I love you, Abba. Amen. That's it, brother. Welcome, Amen. Welcome home.